I've spent 300 years fighting for the Order. I've killed thousands of orcs and defended dozens of rifts. And this is how it ends. One slip in a kobold's blood and my skull cracks open on the gatehouse steps. So now the task of defending this fortress falls to my... Apprentice. That's it, then. The world is doomed. It's all up to me now. Rest well, crazy old man. First things first. Let's see what he left me in this spell book. Hi, guys. My name is Gortrok, and I'm playing Orcs Must Die. Uh, it's a recently released game. Um, a release on Steam, made by Robot Entertainment, a uh, relatively new company. I've never heard of them, at least. And um, well, basically, you just gotta kill orcs. Um, the orcs run down a gauntlet that you set out for them. Usually, there's some kind of layout, like a hallway or some bridges or something, and the orcs have to run down. Uh, you can see where they're gonna run by these little blue trails of light. This over here is your rift, and this you have to protect. Uh, at all costs. If any orcs get through, they'll try to run into the rift and you lose points. If you see in the top right corner, you see there's a big glowing 20. Uh, that's your rift points, and uh, the more you lose, the lower your score, etc. etc. These guys over here, these are just archers, they'll help you kill the orcs. But your main weapons are, first of all, this crossbow, which is amazing. Um, you can get headshots and things with a crossbow as well, and uh, each weapon has an alternate attack. This one is a, a stunning bolt, which stuns in an area. I don't know if it does any damage exactly, but it's pretty good. Um, holds orcs back for a while. Your other main weapons are your traps. Now you see here, this is your spell book. At the top here you see ugly orc face. Um, he's the one, well, he's an example of the ones that are going to be coming down and trying to push past you and get into the rift. And you got to kill them. Uh, usually, you'll see a bunch of other ones as well. Uh, it'll just, just, just to tell you who is going to come try to get past you. So first of all, you see here different types of traps. You got a spike trap, a tar trap, shock stapper for the flyers, um, and the floor scorcher, uh, which is a trap that flips up and burns people. It's really cool. You also get a blaze staff. I'll actually choose that to show you guys. Um, I'm gonna get the spike trap. I'm gonna get the floor scorcher because it's really cool. And the blade staff is basically just a, your ordinary melee weapon. It's pretty fast. It's pretty cool. And the alternate is a shockwave, which knocks him down and does a bit of damage. You'll see at the top left, uh, my mana bar went down when he used the, the, sh the alternate fire, which is right click. Um, it's just uh, so you can't use it over and over again and just spam the hell out of it. Right, um, this is the interface for putting down traps. You basically select the one you want, and it shows it to you, uh, shows your blueprint on the floor, which is really handy. Um, it's a really innovative way of showing you things because it's all it's all showing you in 3D in real real time, and it's pretty pretty useful to see Something what's going on. Face. Here's the traps. You see the little orange glowing bits above it. That's the area in which the trap will activate. So if any orcs come into that area, they will trigger the trap. Um, I'm just going to put a few more down because I don't think that's quite that's enough. Um, R to rotate. Pretty straightforward. Warning, put them down there. E to sell. If you're pointing at a trap that you put down in between the waves, uh, you just press E, you can sell it off for the same price. So basically you can move any of your traps however much you want in between the waves because you sell them back for the same price. Pretty pretty useful. Alright, and now it says G to unleash the horde, so let's do it. Now they're going to be coming out of this door. Oh, you can see them pounding on the door already. So we'll just see what happens, shall we? They're breaking through. Oop. See the... Oh, uh... Shoot more, shoot, shoot. Okay. So yeah, basically... Oh, you can get headshots. That's pretty awesome. Um, so basically, yeah, you just gotta kill all the orcs, make sure they don't get to your rift. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you can put down traps during the fight as well, so I'm gonna put another one down there just to cover my ass. Uh, shoot some more orcs, try to get some headshots. Uh, die. Okay. Well, it's not so bad. Um, I'm doing pretty well already. Uh, there is a timer between waves. Uh, 
a, a couple of waves of orcs will come each wave. Well, a couple of groups of orcs will come each wave and uh, try to get past you. And you just got to try to killify them. That's that's basically it. I'm switch over my blade staff now. Blade staff, staff blade. I can't remember what it's called. Try to slice these orcs up. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Slice, slice, slice. Haboom! Oh. Didn't even see the animation of the alternate fire. It's kind of weird. Also, you do get points, um, the score at the end of this. Uh, you get more points for letting traps kill the orcs or your minions. The minions are the, um, are the archers and things. So if you if you get a lot of kills on the orcs, then they you get fewer points. So it's actually better to let the traps kill the orcs. But it is more risky. If you leave everything up to the traps, they're gonna, they might get through a lot easier. Um, it's generally better to try to. Hello. It's generally better to try to kill a few orcs on the way to the traps and a few after the traps, just to make sure they all die and none of them get through. Okay, 10 seconds for the next wave. I'm gonna set out a couple more things. To, oh, I'll put two more of those, and I'll put another one of these on this side. You can see the area, the little orange. Uh, ghosty boxes show you the area in which the thing will activate. It's very useful to see. Especially for traps, um, you, you can put traps on walls and stuff as well. You'll see later we'll get an arrow trap. And um, yeah, we'll be able to put those on the walls like here. Uh, you can only put them on flat walls, but there are plenty of locations for you to put them. Um, and there are some also ceiling traps. Uh, which you can put on flat ceilings, uh, and there are a lot of incredibly funny traps in this game, like uh, ones that go on the walls that basically push out a whole rack of axes and they just chop the orcs up into pieces. As you can see, the game's really brutal. You can see all the blood and gore, and like you can cut the orcs up into pieces. And I don't know if you can hear properly. But the orcs are, they have all kinds of funny little comments. Like, I'm too young to die, and don't kill me, I'm only half orc. And that kind of thing. It's quite amusing to listen to them in the meantime. Let's chop these guys up. Should'll be dead. Oop, hello, you're not dead. Oh, you're not dead either. There we go! That's the first level of orcs must die. Um. I hope it was entertaining. Victory! Alright, well, um, should have some more videos in this, um, if you like. i got a decent score, actually. I'll have some more videos of this. Um, I'll keep playing through the game and see how it goes. Discover some new traps, discover some new uh, cool things. And yeah, so, uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time.